Hello and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're being a little sneaky and we logged on to Christian's account, so I hacked him, right? Yes, definitely that's how it works, but today we're going to be doing uh, some attacks. I'm not going to try and bump him down because he passed me up. I was like at 24 yesterday and then I was like, I can't get engine rooms, but I'm winning battles, so I just completely started doing stuff and I just lost a bunch and then I couldn't win so I was getting frustrated last night and I'm trying to sort that out on my account and uh, like I said I'm not trying to lose since Christian passed me to bump him down but I bet with my attacks it's sure gonna look that way so let's hope we can get some wins because if I get wins and he beats me this day, I'll just be like yo it's cuz I uh, I beat you caused a chaos theory reaction that made it so you beat me but anyway before we do hop in uh make sure you guys click the first link in the description or type in cosmic duo on instagram if you guys do want to follow because we are almost to 500 followers which honestly i'm kind of sad about so we're gonna start promoting this go over follow get us up to 500 that's the last time i checked it was just under 500 uh let's actually get us up to 600 because i bet once we get a thousand we will probably do some sort of a uh, contest or giveaway but uh should i upgrade something will he be mad if i if i unlock something but anyway uh so i'm gonna try out christian's strategy i've never tried it especially with rifle i wonder if the riflemen were just a mistake because he told me three boats of heavies, two boats of zookas, and three boats of grenadiers. Which I've tried once or twice, and I'm not good at it because I don't know how to use it. Uh, but we're on Christian's account, so, uh, you know, he makes the rules. So, let's hop into this first attack, see what we can get. Um, oh, man. Okay, so he's got a doom cannon behind the quarters, and then this. I think I'm going to go from the bottom. I think that's the point of this strategy for... Throw Dr. Kavan down there. I've noticed Dr. Kavan on my account has been getting sniped a ton because I throw him and he like comes up the left hand side here and then he gets destroyed. But we got a Doom Cannon firing on our heavies, which won't be good. So we're going to throw a Med Kit on accident onto them and then we will suck sh shock. See what I mean? Yeah, I said I'm not going to intentionally lose, but Chris, if you watch this video, you're going to be like, dude, your attacks are horrible you're like trying to lose who knows maybe my subconscious brain is taking over and we are almost all the way out of heavies but we will get a revive here before dr kavan does die ultimately to some troops but honestly is this going good he says he rushes an engine room and i'm not sure on the on whether i will get it or not but i don't think i will but who knows, maybe I'll percentage beat him. A lot of my wins are on percentage wins based on uh, on percent of base taken out. But I noticed people have been using smoky strats a lot more. So I've been trying to upgrade warriors and I have them to one level under max, which is unfortunate because they have such good potential. I can get an engine room most of the time and then I can quickly flare to the next one but i think before i do start committing to uh warriors fully i will have to uh this this boy got all grenadiers he's gonna beat us i think i might steal christian's base design but then again this guy could get a few uh engine rooms on me on christian every time i lose i get discouraged but this video this video i'm gonna be like at least it's not my maybe i should have hacked his confusion account maybe i should have been a bro and did that but that wouldn't be fun but he's gonna get a couple engine rooms here something i could not do and man i kind of want captain Spark. but back to what i was saying i have to uh i have to increase my gbe extremely before i do want to start committing to warrior attacks because there's just there's not enough to take out the shock mines that are all over the base. There's not enough to take out uh, just everything. I don't even know. And the audio looks weird on the on the audio graph. I don't know if that's what you call it. The EKG machine for 
for uh for recording stuff the heartbeat of my voice on the thing it does not look normal so i'm gonna have to rewatch that and make sure i don't have to use camera audio which is atrocious so christian i don't think you could have I don't think you could have won that battle yourself. So we're off to a good start. But like I said, like I just have to get more gumbo to energy um, to uh, you know have a chance at being able to use warrior. Who knows? What are Christian's warriors at? And what's his GBE? His GBE is less than men, I think. But that shouldn't stop us. All right, so we're gonna throw down our Zuka. Well, I guess. He doesn't have his Zookas placed next to each other, so we'll place down a boat of Zookas and then our Grenadiers. And then, uh, I guess, I, I think a few Grenadiers might die here because of that. See what I mean? I'm just throwing. But anyway, as we do get closer, I will throw a shock around right here. Because our, I, I guess, I guess uh, they were fine. That's okay. We'll just use a shock. We'll use a box of critters. And then as we do get close to that hot pot, we might have to think about throwing a very tactical shock here, which will shock a ton of defenses. In fact, I kind of wish I had this, I, I was going against this base on my main account. But come on, man. Okay, his energy is very low, and that is a problem because I am used to higher energy. And there goes Dr. Kavan, there go like all my Zookas. I don't know how to use this strategy. And there goes an accidental flare. Krish, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I, what I did to my account, to yours. Christian, the strategy works. I've heard you say it a lot. So we're just gonna keep committing to it. And if I lose by a percent, that's my bad. Okay. Because I had energy and I could have took out two mortars. So we're on a two losing streak here. But I have faith. I have faith we'll be able to pick up one victory this this uh, this video, and this ain't it, Chief. Just kidding. Um, what's this guy's boost? So 50% building health, 50, 10% building damage, and a lot of troop stuff. So I think I can get away with taking out stuff with energy, which I should have looked at Christian's energy upgrades before I did that, because that would have been smart. But we did luck out, and we did take the cake on that Doom Cannon, which will be extremely effective against my troop combination. But looking at this, hopefully our Grenadiers can take out some of those Boom Mines before our, our heavies do walk over. It does not look like we are successful in that area of this attack. But come on, Grenadiers, I have faith. And to win this battle, we just have to defend. But when you see a five engine room up, up, up uh, go matching against us, they are good attackers. There's no way around it. I've gone against them multiple times. They usually get like half the engine rooms and I can only snag like one of them. So that's something to worry about. It almost makes you want to go against a regular person with six but we're gonna throw a shock onto the doom cannon and then we will save energy to reshock because his shock bombs are shorter than mine so uh, just save energy here and then we'll kind of see what's happening our troops are kind of being weirdos and I tried to throw that shock to keep Dr. Kavan alive unfortunately he had to take a leave of absence early he had to uh he had to peace out so he's dead we're keeping all of our all of christian's engine rooms alive right now and i probably could have done a focus flare but that's too mainstream so we're gonna throw a shock onto the doom can we have a few zookas left and that mortar is gonna take out the last one when i said a few i meant one but i don't know how if we take out that doom cannon which it does not look like we will but there's a chance no we won't but I don't know this guy hasn't taken out any of mine so will my victory be because I had more engine rooms than this guy wait there's one left we have a chance let's go looking strong today boys here we go alright this is actually really slow should I flare in closer no, because that mortar. I might try and do a sneaky flare into the mortar quick. No. Oh, no, the doom. I didn't even think about that. I was like, all right, 
grenadier. You're gonna have to take it out before that uh, mortar kills you, but it looks like we might lose again. What? This guy completely took out my base with grenadiers. So, I don't have medics on one. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Crushing would help if you had a doom cannon back there. Actually, no, then he would take it out with energy. But it looks like this guy might get another. I, I shouldn't say this guy, another. But it looks like this attack will be another. Six engine room defeat. Oh man. Who knows? <sighs> Just waiting. He's gonna get one more for sure. Actually, like three more for sure. But who knows? All right, 40 seconds left. This is painful to watch, but it's less painful because it's not my account. So, like I said, I can. I'm confident. I'm confident that I will uh, pick up one victory with this wacky strat I'm not used to. Maybe I should practice it. If Christian's above, I guess my high is higher than his high. So. Maybe my strategy is better, but he took them all out. I feel like I've faced that guy before. He's always a pain in the butt. Wait, you didn't claim this? I'll claim it for you, buddy. Okay. Alright, his shock bombs are level 1. Can we upgrade anything good for him? Building health? Anything to give us an advantage? He might disagree with me on this. I'm gonna upgrade Gumbot Energy for you, man. I'm sorry if you're, if you're looking to, you know, get something else, but that's what you got today. Should I go from the, I think I'm gonna go from the bottom here. So we'll place down Zooka, Zooka, we won't make the same mistake. Heavies, Grenadiers, and then, ooh. That's gonna be a juicy shock when we shock the shock launcher. Flotsam cannon. Oh, I'm gonna have to shock it so much, Christian. My guy, get your get your shock bombs upgraded. A lot of our zookas are getting killed by these mines. I did not think about that. Usually, the heavies just run ahead. But we will throw that first shock as we do approach it. We have a. Uh, we have lost a few. Zookas, which is kind of sad I'm not gonna lie I'm very uh this is a tragedy but we're gonna keep uh just uh entering heavies into the battle because they are the key until this flotsam tries to take out a bunch of my zookas which i won't try to let it are we gonna do a flare quick we're gonna use a box of critters oh no that shock launcher this ain't good this ain't looking good oh Flotsam cannons are so hard to navigate. I should have went for them over uh, Simos, I think was the other option. Christian, how am I supposed to use this strategy? I have no idea. Good thing it's on your account. Keep going back to that. It's on your account, buddy. Alright. One Grenadier, the Dream. Took out not even 30% of this base. But we won because this guy retreated. 1% my guy. No, that probably means he used a smoky strat since he got one. So Krishna, I got a victory for you. Trying to even out all my losses here. And the strategy is bananas. But how are you supposed to rush engine rooms? I have no flipping idea here. All right, get all of our troops down. Start walking, boys. Alright. This is going to be a very good base against with Grenadiers because of all the shock mines on the left-hand side. Doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean I have a chance to take out a an engine room here, but it does mean I got... Okay. Uh, good to get a call in the middle of the video. I always appreciate it. It was a random number. And it was probably Amy because my vehicle warranty is uh, expiring soon. And it's been almost expiring for like a year now. So, you know, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the early reminders to get that, uh, get that warranty renewed. Just kidding. That is a scam. And, uh, you know, that, uh, if you're getting those calls, put them on the black caller list. It's worth it. 
but they find a way to find your number every day. It's not good. I don't know how I got signed up for that. I think I have a theory because I've been getting random calls from like debt collectors ever since I got this phone number where the person before me just forwarded or like she switched her number because she was sad about getting all the uh, debt collection. I'm sorry, Christian. Another another defeat for you. Um, she she, I think she just kept putting the number down. So for like the first five years of this phone, I was getting calls twice a day. Like being like, oh, is this person available? I'd be like, no, you have the wrong number. It's like, oh well. Do you know who it is? And I'm like, no, you have the wrong number. And we got one grenadier trying to size up a base. And unfortunately, he will fall short. Christian, your grenadiers are pathetic. That's right, I just said that, man. But we've dropped you down quite a bit. I'm in a uh, catch-up range soon. Christian, where are you on the global leaderboard? Oh, wait, now above me. Haha. <laughs> Joke on me. All right. What can I do for this base? I think this one I have a better chance than the last one. So we're gonna throw down our troops. And actually, I did the same mistake again, where I, I think I can get two engine rooms. Don't mean to get ahead of myself. And that could have been a bad idea because I didn't check this person's percentages. But look, oh, okay. We'll just use a box of critters to finish it off. And our grenadiers will start taking out some mines in this base. So we're all happy, except for the shack mines. They did miss, unfortunately. But now we just kind of have to direct our troops over to the left here. So we do stay focused on the engine room. So once we do take out this line, we will flare onto the machine gun. We're going to pop a revive. Keep Dr. Kavan safe. We got a few riflemen out here uh, in the... Uh, in the outskirts of this battle and Christian I think I can get two engine rooms assuming something catastrophically wrong doesn't go off like so incredibly wrong that like Boom Beach needs an update afterward Boom Beach the team needs to wash their eyes you guys something so bad that you guys unsubscribe but anyway looks like we will get a get a nice dose of engine rooms here See, it's really weird. You get like a chunk of them randomly. You're just like, oh, here's two. Oh, you can't get one this attack though. But anyway, finishing it off. Hopefully this guy does have a fail on my base, lack of a better word, where he just can't get to the engine rooms. And by my base, it's all faith in Christian's base design. Cause he said, if I find out this season you change my base design, I'm gonna be mad. I was like, all right, all right. I'll just lose a bunch of battles. Ooh, I'm liking the looks of this. He will get one. There goes one. And he only has Zookas left and Dr. Kavan is dead. He about to get fried by that hot pot. I don't think he sees it coming. Look at that hot pot. It's just toying. It's waving, it's waving it back and forth. Boom, we took him out. Another victory by another, I mean, the second of this video, so... I will uh, take full credit in getting those two engine rooms. And I'm going to wrap it up here, actually. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys smash that like button. And uh, again, go to our Instagram page. Follow if you have an account and you want to see. We, we get more personal there and we respond to a decent amount of DMs. And I would say we read all of them. At least I do. I don't know about Christian. But can't change it. I kind of wanted to do something with that, but I gotta, I gotta keep my paws off his base design. But anyway, this was me hacking a Christian's base design. Hope the audio turns out, but I'm afraid that it's looking, uh, looking pretty bad here. So, actually, I like Christian's base design, but that rogue engine room seems like a choke point. But I think it's like a trapped kind of thing where they're like, oh, it'll we'll attack from the bottom. Then they just attack from like the left hand side here and the troops accidentally get it almost. But anyway, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye bye. <laughs>